Ladies and gentlemen, here we go again. Bar Max Sydney, Australia. Aim at Santani for you. Cocktail of the month. This month we're gonna do one of those cocktails that just that's just synonymous with going out and having a good night, drinking with friends, a summer cocktail, a real, real treat for you, the margarita. Really. So, what's going on with the margarita? You're going to be using one of these lovely coupe glasses. It's got a bend, looks kind of nice, artsy fartsy. So we're going to use one of those. Then we're also going to be using the liqueur of the cures, the Cointreau. It's called the Triple Sec, that's the name of the liqueur, but this one tends to have a higher alcohol percentage than a regular Triple Sec would. So we're going to use this one because it's synonymous with quality. We're also going to be using a quality tequila. Jose Cuervo, good tequila for a margarita. So let's get stuck into it. We're going to be using some limes. So I'm going to need my trusty citrus squeezer. Again, I'm using the big one because we've got big fruit here in Australia. So let's get stuck into it. First things first with this preparation, what we're gonna to need to do, we're gonna to need to use something known as a rimmer. I'm gonna move these out of the way for you just a second because I want to show you this thing. What it does, if you can see, you've got salt, you can put some lime juice in there, you can put some sugar in there if you wanted to, but for the margarita preparation, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be using salt because that's how the drink is made classically. So, first things first, cut down your lime, and cut another little wedge off, like so. Then, squeeze your lime ever so slightly to get some of that juice to come out. And then, gently, the outer edge of the glass gets a little bit of lime on it. Now, what's that going to do? That's going to help the salt stick to my glass. Gently try and get your salt on that glass. Just like so. Now with this little trusty contraption, the idea is you could go like this and stick it right in there and twist. But what happens there is you get salt building up on the inside of the glass. I don't like doing that personally, that's why I've done it this way. So I just get salt on the outside. You don't want salt inside the drink, you just want salt on the outside. There we go. My glass is almost ready to rock and roll. What we're going to need now, ice. Make my glass nice and cold. There you go. Then, let's get stuck into the preparation. Again, tequila. We're going to be using 45 ml of a good tequila. There you go. Our trusty jigger. 30 ml on the top, 15 ml on the bottom. Simple stuff. And then for the Cointreau, we just need 15 ml. Don't need too much of that at all. Now a point of contention with this drink, some people use lemon juice, some people use lime juice. My preference, I'm going to use lime juice, I'm going to use fresh lime juice. So I'm going to cut down my lime, I think I'm going to need at least two for this one, because these are a little bit smaller than limes. So cut down the lime, right there, the squeezer, lime goes in with the flesh facing down. That goes on top. Simply squeeze that juice out. There you go. Discard. Ooh, let's not do that yet. Gotta get a full shot in there. A little bit more. Fresh juice is always integral in making great cocktails. If you go fresh, you'll never go back. There you go. Beautiful. I'm going to get a little bit extra in there. I like lime. Lime is nice. One shot. Now, I always like to add a little bit of sugar syrup into this preparation. 
And what I mean a little bit, I mean about five to 10 mil, dependent on your sugar level. If you like sweet, you can put a little bit more, but really and truly this drink is supposed to be a sour drink. It's not supposed to be sickly sweet like, for example, a mudslide or a Toblerone or something like that. You're using good alcohols, a little bit of lime, a little bit of sugar syrup, not too much. Then, the fancy part. Ice up to the glass, top, fill it right up. Ice goes in first, ice goes in last, sorry. And then, give it a nice little tap on the top and shake. There you go. Now I can get rid of my ice from here. There you go. Then, Hawthorne strainer, tea strainer. I want to double strain this so as not to get any little pieces of ice in there and also any little bits of lemon lime pulp. There you go. Now after this preparation, some people will leave the drink as is. I think it makes it look a little bit nicer. If you get a lemon lime wheel, sorry. So cut your lime in half. Go in there. Cut yourself a nice wheel off. right and then line goes on the side beautiful ladies and gentlemen another cocktail for you brought to you by bar max sydney australia the ever classic the ever lovely margarita please i invite you to come down and do the cocktail course it's a good night to have have some fun with your friends if you bring down your friends i will tell you though leave your car at home if you want to come out have a couple of drinks responsible, leave it at home. Do a, do a taxi run if you, if you need to. Ladies and gentlemen, again, Heyman Santani here, the Margarita. Thank you.